Okay, this is take number two at this because I, I wanted to find a, a way of making a video without having to do a lot of edit and stuff because I just haven't been feeling too well recently. And um, I went through all of the comments on my last three videos, the issues videos about romance, about housing, and about, um, what was the other one? Oh yeah, character creation to uh, see what people thought. And basically I wanna respond in some sort of video form with what I think is happening and why so many people seem to be fighting over everything. And in romance, well, not as many problems here because like most people are just agreeing. All of the characters that we've been shown that are romanceable are very young. Like They're listed as young adult. Most of them look like they're 18 or 19. And my point was that if you're looking to be an inclusive game, why don't you have options for people who are, you know, older? Because, again, MMOs have an average age that is much older than your typical other games. So please give give them some options. I, Not every 35-year-old wants to date 18-year-olds. So I'll just say it like that. Um, and here we, we have the beginning of something that I'll talk more about in the in the housing section when we look at those comments. Disney Dreamlight locks gifts and it hasn't been too bad. Um, I have my own thoughts on why people think this and why some people think it's really bad. But I think there are two big things here. We have, I'm not going to pretend date a character that's young enough to be my grandkid. Again, the older character things. Please do not post stress tests and NDA information. I have had to delete more comments than I would like to in the last few days because people feel like they could break NDA on my channel, which would try to get me in trouble. Nah. Nah. Bah. Don't do it. In truth, I'll be skipping the romance comment. Co comment. I'll be skipping the romance content because I'm not interested. Good on you. Good on you. If you know that you're not going to like a part of the game or if it's just not interesting to you, you shouldn't feel the need to jump into every argument about it, jump into every conversation, or even engage with it in the first place. If you know you're not going to like it, feel free to just move on. It's, it's, it's a very admirable quality and one that I wish more people had. One that I wish more people had. Okay. And the big drama in the in the whole stream came about due to the rebellious teen comment that was made in the original. And English language being silly and folks taking it literally. I think it's because of how all the characters look that you could see this. The words she used... She didn't say she was like a rebellious teenager. She said she was a rebellious teenager. And those two things are very, very different in terms of language. And if changing one word changes absolutely everything that a sentence means, you can say, well, English is weird. Or, you know, that's actually how language works. Words have meaning and you have to be careful about them. I do think that it was a little bit overblown, but I also think that because this was a lot of people's first real interaction with the Palea gameplay and the Palea systems in the terms of the stream, that they should have been more careful than they were with the words they used and how they said them. And I also think that they shouldn't have used the words um, uh, like, and uh as much as they did but you know that could have been fixed in editing i guess by the way this video is not really getting edited because i don't feel well enough to edit cool sorry about that housing and its issues okay so this is where we get into my thoughts on the paleo community and they're not bad thoughts I think it's just something that I've noticed over the past year or so, talking to people, listening to people, and seeing the feedback that they give. Um, we're not going to settle on that comment. That comment I can tackle later. Buy stuff, build everything. Yeah, that, 
he's just he's describing life yes life exists that's all life is the furnishings look fairy tale basic uninteresting doesn't excite me I, they didn't really show off a massive what will we say variety of furniture did they seems you didn't do your research properly you can actually disable the grid and place decoration where you want them without snapping that that doesn't meaningfully change how what okay so if something snapped to a grid that means it moves like say eight units at once which great but if it's not you can move it in one unit increments also great that doesn't actually change anything with the editor i can't suddenly put things inside of other things i can't suddenly rotate things on the z-axis or lift them up in the y-axis to be floating in the air nothing that was said in this comment actually changes anything anything about about my arguments so i don't know what i didn't do my research on properly but um yeah, it's your, your comment has literally nothing to do with what I was talking about. Good job. Oh, what a s wait time is a silly thing to complain about, especially when you have games like Animal Crossing make you wait until the next IRL day. Um, I hate to tell you this because I've played Animal Crossing since GameCube, but every single version has used the system clock to determine when a building is done. And I also hate to tell you this, I have completed Animal Crossing New Horizons houses in less than 24 hours. The, the same thing with Stardew Valley, it takes one in-game day. You can go to sleep as soon as you finish your house. The real time wait on that is i think three days or the real time wait for that would be t t two minutes at the most to build a house at the most so i mean animal crossing switching the clock and well saving to menu switching the clock and coming back in uh if i wasn't a mario odyssey speedrunner i'd say that would take 90 seconds so it's, it's faster in Animal Crossing than it might be in Stardew for some people. There are sliders in housing. Yay! <laughs> They're there, but not in character creation. Okay. Ba 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 How... <laughs> Extra money options for timers. It definitely feels like that if you're coming from any mobile game whatsoever. Um, timers immediately jump to how could they make money? How can they make money off of, off of timers? And for many people, they're willing to take a developer's word that they won't do anything bad. And for other people, developers have said many things and they have done the exact opposite. Do you guys not have smartphones? I hate the, it seems like an incredibly divisive issue among the paleo community and i don't understand why it is to me it's unfairly punishing people with busy schedules okay i want to talk about this now because this is the comment that really 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 made me think about this there are two places that people generally find paleo from one is from like the cozy creator side of things where they play games like animal crossing maybe Sunhaven, Story of Seasons as their primary thing, and people watch that and come on over. The other side of things tend to be players from more MMO-type games who come over from games like, I don't know, World of Warcraft, which doesn't have very good housing. They might come from older games like EQ2, EverQuest 2, Aeon, and the likes. And if you played some of those older MMOs, EQ2, Aeon, Star Wars Galaxies, which I talk about a lot because it was my favorite housing and decoration system of any MMO that I played. But if you've played those, you have a very different experience to the people coming from the cozy sim games. And I think the expectations of the cozy sim people were that this would be a cozy sim with multiplayer. 
and the expectations from the MMO people were that they would at least be looking at past MMOs in designing and making their game. I think that a lot of what we have here is straight from cozy games, and instead of trying to elevate the genre, they're... Uh, yeah, what was I trying to say? Instead of trying to elevate the genre of the cozy game and how they have things set up, they're almost in the eyes of a lot of MMO players bringing the MMO layer down to the cozy game level, which hurts for a lot of the older MMO players. If you're a newer MMO player and you haven't experienced some of those older games, I do recommend you trying some of them, especially just long enough to see how the decorations and the systems worked in them, and also how non-combat classes worked in them, because non-combat classes used to be a very, very big thing in MMOs, and as a game trying to build upon those non-combat sections of MMOs, I would have expected them to take more lessons from past games. I don't know, that's just my thought. This seems to be a divide between the MMO and the cozy. Um, and I don't think there's anything major here I mean, people commenting on the four hours, not realizing that it was eight hours in the tooltip. Uh, uh, please don't break NDA. Oh, this comment was about the ward system in Final Fantasy XIV and instance housing. Personally, I see where instance housing is coming from quite well. Uh, I do honestly believe that instance housing is probably the worst version of housing for any MMO. But I can see the need for it here. The, the big problem is you need the community aspect. I would expect something more close to Final Fantasy XIV with smaller groups and more instancing. But I also would want something like the, a community goal for people to build up on. I, I don't really see ways around that for this game just because of housing issues that were created. A lot of people don't like that it's in an instance. Again, whatever. And again, EQ2. So not, not a lot to say about that. I think there was a comment at the bottom that I, I skipped over because I didn't want to talk about it at the time. Oh, yeah. I hate when people like you make all these negative comments on a game that you have not played yet. Um, I won't comment on that one because I have. Um... Let's, let's go up to their, their, their first one on my list, which is actually their second one. Have you played in any of the alpha tests? Yes, I have. Thank you for asking. I have actually been a tester and have submitted feedback to the game and have had conversations with many people about, well, a lot of the issues that I brought up here in this video over there. So yeah, th thank you for asking. I, I, I actually have been. How about you join the beta, not the full release, and help develop this game with the rest of us and not just make negative comments on, on on a game that you haven't played? I I don't know how to how to approach this, but this sounds like positive, like toxic positivity to me. If you think that all criticism about a game is inherently really bad, then um I don't think you'd survive very far in the game making world. You you sort of need to know when people like your systems and don't like your systems. Uh, yeah, and I, I will be playing the game at its release. It's releasing in beta. That's, that's when everybody will be able to get their hands on it, unless you're a Switch player. So, yeah, I, I will be playing it at release. It's launching, which is that step from beta to, you know, actual, it's out now, 1.0, whatever you want to call it in the future at an unspecified time probably around when the switch release is happening because switch doesn't really allow early access but i'll be playing it up through that time not nothing nothing that i've said here stops me from doing that and yeah oddly hostile for somebody who's not actively um you know part of the development team to my knowledge and character creation this is this is the big spot. Um, this is the video that everybody seems to agree that we need more stuff for whatever. Um, 
some quick highlights female face presets specifically they said there weren't really that many or not enough um blah 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 blah, 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 blah. I really hope you're able to voice your opinions to the devs in the Discord. I have actually. I'm in. I'm in the tests. I've, I've placed feedback forms. Thank you. Thank you for asking. I was looking forward to this game mainly because I saw the NPCs were designed to be purple looking like elves, and only to be disappointed that we are limited to play as humans. Okay, this is a much bigger discussion. A much bigger discussion. This is a question of how we approach games and how we approach storytelling in games. So in Palea, to, to the best of my knowledge, the reason that we can't play as Majiri is because it would clash with the story, right? Why was the story created in the way it is that it would cause people to not be able to do something they like or that they want to do? I don't know. If you know people are going to want to do something, your goal shouldn't be to hide that away. Your goal should be to put that in the forward and then try to make a story around it. Like, I don't know. What if as a Majiri, you were a human researcher like Gina who came to the area, just came there and you have to learn about it. I mean, it's not as fantastical for the story. I, I actually see this or even better, what if you came in the same way as humans and it really just confused people? What if? At the end of the day, I feel like that's a failure of gameplay designers and storytellers to not try to work together more to allow more people to do things than it, it, than it is anything else. If, if people want to do something, yeah, let them do it. I didn't realize they didn't have sliders. <laughs> Seems so stocky. Maybe it's just the beginning character creator. The beginning character creator is people's first. It's their first look at the game. That's like the most important area for character customization. It's going to be one of the ways to really have your character stand out from the, the crowd. Well, yeah, and with how it is right now, everybody's going to look the same. You're not really going to... It doesn't matter how you dress up your Barbie. It's always going to look like Barbie, right? And that's the problem that a lot of people have. Um, Paley is in the same market as WoW because it's an MMO, but WoW has dungeons, raids, quest givers to give gear for power and blah, blah, blah. This doesn't really matter. The fact that they have more outfits comes from the fact that they've been around longer. If you actually look at most MMOs, they don't have that many outfits. They recolor a lot of them and throw them into different parts of the game. That's sort of how they, they they do it. And then they gain their stockpile of outfits and customization due to the fact they've been out for however long they've been out. And they kept adding to that. The real problem with the clothing here is you don't have the ability to layer customization. So like if you have a shirt that you like and like four different jackets that can go with it, that's better than just having the one shirt jacket combination. You have four times the customization option just by having that that one layer. And that sort of is my point there. Blah, 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 blah. Heterochromia. And I do disagree a little, only a little about the current color options. Feel free to disagree. I do not force people to, to agree with me. That's not my job. My job is... From where I stand, I want people to think about the game. I want people to think about what they're going to be playing and what they're going to be interacting with. Does it matter to them? Does it not matter to them? Is it as good as it could be or are there ways to make it better for people? Yeah? Yep. So you don't have to agree. You don't have to disagree. You don't even really need to take a side. I just want people thinking. That's, that's my whole thing. Uh... Personally, I feel like if, if an outfit has three colors that are predetermined for me, I don't like it as much because, like, if you look at my character, my character wears a pink jacket in this. And if I want an outfit in pink, if there's only three or four or even six color designs, pink isn't that common of a color for, for most outfits. Will I be able to get any outfit in pink? 
Even one? I don't know. It's it's a big question for me. Dude, something that I forgot about was facial hair. I don't know how I didn't include it. It just completely skipped my mind. Considering I have to deal with it every single day of my life, you think it wouldn't have, but it did. I'm gonna learn character models on the same level as NPCs. They gave the NPCs a lot of variety in how they looked, dressed, everything. If you look at Kenley, who used to be Kenji and they changed his name without telling us, I'm really annoyed at this inherent lack of communication that has been around. Same with the Gollum and Gulder switch. They just switched them out of nowhere. Um, it's really, really off-putting that they couldn't communicate such small switches at any point in the last two years. Really, really awkward. Um, but yeah, if you look at the actual NPC models, they have a lot of variety to them. They look like they've been hand sculpted to the to the characters because they have. And I just want some of that customization ability for the players. Here's, I wanted to play Majiri. They seem so proud of their character customization. Um, and a lot of people take this as, as an attack, right? But it's not really an attack. This is just my way of giving feedback as a way of seeing what other people think. Because one person giving feedback doesn't really mean that much, but a thousand people giving the same feedback means a lot more. Um, so the housing video created a split. The romance video has a bit of a split. A lot more people agree with the character creation. A lot more. So, yeah, hopefully they see it. Sliders, yeah, the whole idea of presets. Presets for me are literally preset. You make them, like you click on them when they're the closest to your character out of all of them, and it makes editing a little bit easier. Um, Baldur's Gate 3 has, has heterochromia. Cool, I won't be able to play it because my friend has, a, has house problems and he's been trying to fix it for a month, and I doubt he'll be fixed with the house problems uh, by then. But, you know, hopefully we're able to play it. I do own it. I got it when it first came out and we mostly just decided to wait for release. We played some of it. The risk here is that with the monetization being cosmetic only, better outfits may end up being premium. Okay. I want to I wanna very quickly look at these... I don't see any comments that are like brand new. So we're gonna end with this this idea of, and here's the person who, where's the person who made it? It was a really long one. Uh, about specifically cash shop. And they were like, oh, I wanna be pale. I cannot make me, oh, the tragedy. The one game that you can't do that in. Really the one game, the one? I've, I've talked about not being able to make my character in multiple games, but wh whatever, whatever. My, my argument wasn't even about me not being able to make characters. It's about how this game was touted as being inclusive and many people can't as expressed throughout a lot of these comments. Uh, I know you mean well, but that in particular just came across as so whiny. You do realize that this is the first big like MMO life sim combination in quite a while. So if they're missing things here, that's off-putting to a lot of people, and it's really easy for them to fail due to not including people. Like, honestly, y'all cozy VTubers. Cozy tubers, cozy YouTubers, I'm guessing, are not addressing the unsustainable payment and gameplay model this has if only I made a video in February of 2022 that talked about the unsustainable free-to-play model with cosmetics only and talked about how their wording said that at first they were going to do cosmetics. I, where did I put that? They said, oh, at first it will be cosmetics. And then they, I think they edited that later because I pointed it out or something. Oh, here it is. Um, no, this isn't it. That's the good. Where's the bad? Dude, this video is so old. Let's let's run through this 
This is so old that this is back when I actually created closed captionings for all these, which took a while. Oh my goodness. And I talk about pay to win in this video about... And listen, guys, this is a video all about the topic. Okay, at first, this will focus on character clothing and cosmetics. With Paleo, we'll only be monetizing cosmetic content. At first, this will focus on character clothing and costumes. There are many ways to make predatory content. <laughs> predatory payment models using just cosmetics especially in a game where one of the main skills is making furniture which is i will i will repeat a cosmetic now they also went on to yell at me about how i agreed to sign an nda like like and it's acting like a shield and how you should still be talking about the problem this is practically everything that we know about the monetization that didn't come from NDA. If you know anything else about monetization in this game, it comes from either that stream that I said that I would be making a, a, a video on the, the payment options and, and the, the store on, or this blog from 2022. There's nothing else to talk about. If you want to know why I haven't made a ton of videos ranting about free to play, it's because there's nothing else to talk about. I brought it up in a couple of the question and answer videos that I did over the last two years. And trust me, there was still nothing else to talk about. My thoughts on free to play in this game is that it's pay to win. Simple as that. Why? Because my goals as a player in the game are going to be to make my character look exactly how I want them to, make my house look exactly as I want it to, and to meet and interact with the community in fun ways. Those, those are my three goals, and two of them are tied directly to cosmetics. I can pay money to do that faster. I know a lot of people will not agree with that definition of pay to win, but here's the fun thing about the word pay to win. It does not have just one meaning. It has many meanings, so people don't agree on words. It happens all the time. And that's, that's, I mean, you, you can, you can look at all of this, but really for those people who wanted, even if you saw that there were a problem with the store, the only way that you can really really have tackled that before the game released was to join the NDA program and give the feedback in the NDA because you know they're not going to listen to people who haven't actually experienced it. So, blah. But yeah, uh, I do want to make a video about this topic. When do I want to make a video about this topic? August 2nd. Why August 2nd? Because that's when the NDA is lifted and I can actually talk about everything that's in the game. Especially from, from, from the monetization side. And I, I can tell you that if I haven't talked about something, it's because, well, I didn't feel like I had much to say on it. You, you can tell by the fact that the, the video and character creation was 10 minutes long and this video is 30 minutes long. That's been me rambling. Um, I, I need to lay down. My chest and stomach are killing me at the moment. Because I, originally I thought this was going to be 15 minutes of me talking. And instead we rambled for way, way too long. Um, we released a short today. Don't, I, I don't know what we're going to do with that. We're, we're testing shorts on this channel uh, in this week. I want to have, I want to edit another one for tomorrow. But currently I'm not feeling up to it. So if it gets released tomorrow, it's released tomorrow. Cool. Cool. And if you do have anything else that you want to yell at me about, by the way, same person who commented on like every one of my videos was in my videos a year ago. So thank you, Annie, for being here for so long. Uh, I, I, I have noticed that you've commented on practically everything. And you'll notice that people don't always agree on stuff. I, I, I do think it's important to have a conversation about what we think. Cool. 
cool. So that's been my 30 minutes and like 10 seconds of thoughts on Palea and my comments and responding to all of them. If you have any other comments you would like to share, please leave them here or on any other video. I have a Twitch where I have stream Nintendo games and I will be streaming Palea. There's a link to that in the description. And a Discord where I want to try to grow a community before launch so that we can, you know, join a community and have the whole guild thing going on. Cool? Cool. And remember, no NDA. Do not break NDA. I've been deleting so many messages recently about that. Have a good day.